This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Welcome back to Fight Night for one of the most important fights in boxing history. Or highlights, anyway. Now, our last video showed heavyweight champion Tommy Burns beginning a European tour by knocking out British champion Gunnar Weir before defending his title in Ireland and France. He ultimately ended up in Australia for three fights. The first one on August 24, 1908, saw him once again beat Bill Squires. On September 3rd, he defeated Bill Lang. But his third fight turned to be controversial. His opponent was Jack Johnson, the first black fighter to earn a heavyweight title shot. Johnson possessed size and speed that was virtually unmatched in 1908, but was ducked because of his skin color. Johnson traveled all over the world to catch Tommy Burns, and finally he got to Sydney, Australia to take on Burns, who was gunning for his 14th straight world title defense. So, can Johnson? win and become the first black heavyweight champion or will burns eliminate johnson for his 14th straight world title defense on december 26 1908 let's find out 1908 and world heavyweight all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Johnson is training 17 miles away, Rush Cutters Bay. All right, so it's only going to be like nine minutes of highlights. Round one, here we go. In round one, Tommy Burns, the lucky Chris Green, moves out and boxes cautiously. Now remember that Johnson was legit heavyweight. Whereas Burns was an overblown middleweight. So finally, he, Burns was in the ring with a legit heavyweight. Now, the thing about Jack Johnson. Yeah, 212 pounds. So he, he had Burns beat by 50 pounds. Yeah, but there was a difference between fighting the British champion, the Irish champion, the Australian champion, and Jack Johnson. <laughs> a major difference in competition and skill. Now, Tommy was a good champ, but the problem is he was small. He would have been, like I said, he would have been perfect for a super middleweight division, but there was none. Light heavyweight was brand new. There was no, yeah, there was no cruiserweight. There was no super middleweight. He was too big for middleweight. So, all right, ding, ding, end the round one. And I would skip ahead to round five. <laughs> all right. This is going to be easy. <laughs> so he would laugh. At, you see, that was the thing about Johnson is what made him so vile in the, in the white fan's eyes. Was that he was cocky, he was loud, he was a showman. So he had an attitude. NWA back before there was NWA. He was born in Galveston, Texas. A beautifully proportioned 212 pounds. Like an ex-girlfriend I used to have. Look at that. They added sound effects for this uh, production. Yeah, so Jack. professional career, Johnson was nicknamed Little Larsa. He looked what? almost like a giant next to the little man he's facing. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be shitting me with advertisers. Invitations for us. You gotta be kidding. That's the first time I've had to deal with an advertisement. You gotta be kidding. You gotta be absolutely kidding me.
between. Now, unlike the other fights that we've seen, ding ding. Okay. Round eight. We now we've jumped ahead to round eight. Johnson scored heavily on the inside with ripping punches to the body and hard rights to the head. Here in round eight, Johnson rushes in and holds first as he talks to ringside, laughing all the time. <laughs> He's been after this heavyweight title fight for over two years. He hurled challenge after challenge at first. Yeah, he wanted the crack of the title, but they wouldn't give it to him because he was black. That that's the ultimate troll right there. Screaming insults, taunting the champion. His high voice stood out like a beacon light. Another no. So when Burns went on a European tour, Jack Johnson sat in the front row of all the fights. <laughs> Just taunting him the whole time. When Burns disposed of Bill Squire, it was then in Sydney, Australia, that the champion could take no more. The champion could take no more. <laughs> Great verbiage. That's basically how it went. <laughs> Jack Johnson trolled Burns into giving him a title shot. And the way Burns uh, Johnson's just laughing about everything just shows he knew what was going to happen. Because Burns was an overblown middleweight. Majestic for coke. On the inside with this bigger, more powerful challenge. Tommy Burns' real name is Noah Perso. <laughs> Canadian by birth, he was born June 17, 1881, in Hanover, Canada. Uh, yeah, he took the name Tommy Burns because Noah Bruto sounded too feminine, according to writers. So now, oh, look at this random shot of the crowd. <laughs> Yeah, so John's is just plodding after him. Now, see. Because Burns was totally outmatched. Now he's on the run. He, remember how he was attacking everybody before? This is a picnic. <laughs> he is! He literally just stood there holding them like na 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 na. <laughs> look at the, look at the towels. Ding ding round eleven. Johnson simply overwhelmed the champ. Going into round eleven, it looked practically hopeless for Tommy. Oh, <laughs> left hook. Johnson pressing forward, landing short punches, holding Tommy in the punches. Burns unable to do anything against the heavier, stronger, taller challenger. And turned professional 11 years ago in 1897. He had 10 professional fights when in 1901 he was KO'd in three rounds by Joe Schuenzi. But following that contest, Johnson KO'd 25 opponents in the next wow. seven years. He has met and defeated all of the great fighters of his time, including George Gardner, Sam McBee, Joe Jeanette, Sam Langford, and the great Bob Fitzsimmons. So Jack Johnson defeated all three top black boxers, Sam McVay, Joe Jeanette, and Sam Langford. And then he beat Bob Fitzsimmons, the ex-champ. 25 straight wins. Fascinating tidbit. And that, yeah, Jackson Johnson's just stalking Burns. Because Burns can't do what he did against the other guys because he... Johnson's too big and strong. He's also quick, too. Johnson closes in, completely tying up the champion. He forces Burns back in the clutches and literally handles the champion with ease. Yeah, this is a mismatch. This is a complete mismatch. 
ding, ding. General feeling of compassion for the impossible task which Burns is undertaking. Round, we skip ahead to 14. Round 12 was all Jack Johnson. In round 13, it appeared as though the police were going to step in and stop the fight as a result of Burns' weakened condition and the terrible beating he was taking. Here in round 14, Johnson rushes in, blends in other Oh, oh, oh. Johnson's looking to finish off Burns. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. He didn't waste any time, and down he goes. So the, the the police stopped the camera, so it would look like the the the, cha the, the cha title change never happened. See again, just because Johnson was black, they basically halted the the, the recording, so white boy couldn't get beat. <laughs> Sorry, that's not how it works. <laughs> So that's how Jack Johnson became the new heavyweight champion of the world. He knocked out Tommy Burns in the 14th round. Burns couldn't take it up anymore. And so not only did the police stop the recording, the film was banned from being shown anywhere in the country, in the United States. That's how basically they tried to silence Jack Johnson. Basically making it sound like he, you know, the, the, he never beat Tommy Burns. Sorry, that's not how it works. So, there's a reason why Jack Johnson thumbed his face in everybody. He was loud, he was cocky, he was arrogant. You know, he did what he wanted, said what he wanted. You know, he dated white women. Like, he did everything, he did anything he wanted, and he didn't give a fuck who he offended. And so, white America in 1908 was like, oh! So, that's how Jack Johnson, heavyweight champion. So, Tommy Burns never received a rematch, and he fought in obscurity until he retired. Johnson's reign of terror had just begun. And he turned out to be a flamboyant champion for the ages. He was everything that white people hated. Well, they'd have to learn to deal with it because Jack was the new champion. So that about wraps up this edition of Fight Night. We got a new champ, and his name is Johnson. I'll see you next time.